Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. Today I'm going to talk about possession of marijuana. Now in Arizona, possession of marijuana under Arizona Revised Statute 13-3405 states that you have to knowingly possess or use without a proper medical marijuana script or card marijuana. And there's also certain weights. You can't just have a medical marijuana card and run around with 10 pounds of marijuana. There's certain rules. Now, if you have more than two pounds of marijuana, um, they can charge you with possession for sale. Now that can happen if it's broken up into certain sizes or their scales. And if that occurs, you need to go to our website, dmcantor.com and look up possession for sale, which is a much more serious charge. Now, if you're charged with possession of marijuana and you have no prior felony convictions, you can be placed on probation up to two years in prison. Now, it becomes a class five felony if you have two to four pounds of marijuana for personal use that is not for sale. And that can be probation up to two and a half years in prison. Now, if you have four pounds plus not for sale, they're almost always gonna charge you with possession for sale, but occasionally they won't. And in that case, you could get probation up to 3.75 years in prison. Now, probation means the judge can say, hey, I'm gonna give you a break. I'm gonna give you probation with certain terms. Be law abiding, don't drink alcohol, uh, follow all the rules, but I'm also going to impose jail as a term of probation. Anywhere from zero days in jail up to one year in jail. So it's important you have a lawyer who knows what he's doing so you can hopefully get zero days in jail. Now, the medical marijuana card defense, that is a whole nother topic. And go to our website, dmcanner.com, and you can read about what that entails, but it's very specific with medical marijuana cards. Other defenses include lack of knowledge. That means you didn't know that the marijuana was in your car, a house, a backpack. Other one is lack of use. That means secondhand smoke. You were totally unaware of it and the smoke attaches to your body, yet the officer comes into a, a dorm room, sees a pipe on the table and there's three roommates and he charges everyone with um, use of marijuana. You can fight that charge. Illegal search, lack of consent to the search, coerced consent to the search, bad search warrant all great defenses and we can talk to you about that. Common defenses, no Miranda rights, um, coerced statements, you asked for your lawyer and they denied you your right to counsel, uh, fingerprints, we'll look to see whether there's prints on the items that were found in the house or just plain sloppy uh, police reporting. Now you're gonna hear about things called Prop 200 and TASK. TASK means in certain cases you can do a diversion dismissal by uh, doing UAs, parent, paying a certain amount of money, and being placed on probation. Prop 200, what does that mean? Well, if it's truly a first offense and it's not for sale, then they have to give you probation. But if you violate probation, lo and behold, they can throw you in jail over and over again each time you violate, holding you for four to six weeks until you resolve it. We can talk to you about that. So if you or a loved one have been charged with possession of marijuana, you're gonna need somebody who knows what they're doing. Our office has many certified criminal law specialists. We'd love to meet with you. It doesn't cost anything to meet with you and sit down with you. So give us a call or go to our website and fill out a contact form. Take care.